Most folks believe that the healthy benefits created by an alkaline water ionizer come from the negative ORP and the molecular hydrogen. As a water geek and a water researcher, I can tell you this is especially true of molecular hydrogen, which has been the focus of over a thousand peer-reviewed scientific papers showing the therapeutic benefits of molecular hydrogen. Knowing that it's that important, we obviously want to test that here today as well. So let's start with the K8. We're going to start by testing the highest alkaline level, so the Kangen 9.5. We're going to get two samples, one for H2 and one for ORP. We're going to use a digital HANA ORP meter and a digital Truslex H2 meter and see what we're producing here. The ORP right now is at a negative 388. It might move a couple points. The H2 is at right now at 355 parts per billion and going up slowly. We'll give it just a second, see where we go. So Molecular hydrogen is stabilized at 356 parts per billion. ORP is at negative 307, three, negative 380. Now let's move over to the H2. Again, we'll go to the highest alkaline setting. and get two samples. Oh, stand this up so the camera can see it. As you can see, the H2 meter is already at 623 parts per billion, and the ORP meter is at about negative 525. It's going down just a little bit. We'll give it a minute to see if it stabilizes. H2 is at 622 parts per billion. ORP is at negative 523. So almost double the negative ORP and almost double the molecular hydrogen content on a similar setting. However, most folks, myself included, don't really drink water every day at a super high alkaline setting. Personally, I prefer the taste of a pH around an eight and a half. So let's test the H2 concentration of that as well. We're going to go to the K8's pH 8.5 button. And get a sample. The meter is counting down from about positive 300 and coming down. Now we'll go to the Vesta H2 and we're going to go to an alkaline level 2. This is comparable to the 8.5 setting on the K8. K8 still coming down a little bit, but we're right around 210 parts per billion. We'll give it just a couple seconds. It's moving pretty slow now. We'll call it 200 and 2, 201. Call it 200 parts per billion. Now let's test the H2. And as you can see, it is counting up rapidly from 400 parts per billion, 408, 409, 410. We'll call it good there. As you can see, again, at 
a drinking water level that's comparable in the lower settings, the Vesta H2, again, did almost double the molecular hydrogen content. For me, the real bang for the buck is who's going to produce the highest levels at a pH that's actually what we're going to be drinking at. And the H2 is doing almost double all the way across the board at whatever level of alkalinity you've selected.